Welcome back. On our way to South Carolina, we took a little side trip. Hey, good morning. Today we're coming to you from the Virginian town of Crozet. 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 Steve. Hi, today we're in Crozet, Virginia, a little town just outside of... <laughs> hey, good morning. We're in the little town of Crozet, Virginia. Just outside of Charlottesville, Virginia. We're going to go around and see what this little town has to offer. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, here comes our ride. I can't believe it. Our driver is Instagrammer Christine. You remember her? You guys remember her from uh, San Francisco? And you're our driver today? <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. All right, you ready to go? Let's go. All right, first stop is the Mud House Coffee House and Bakery, right in the corner here in Cosé. Great coffee and treats in a historic setting. The downtown is surrounded by the Blue Ridge Mountains. All right, so when you come down to Crozet, make sure you stop in the visitor center, uh, which is the old uh, train station right by the tracks. Can't miss it. Here you'll find information about the town, but also information about the surrounding area like the Skyline Drive. And right across the street from the visitor center is the well-known Sam's Hot Dog Stand. And here you'll also find the very well-known Crozet Pizza. Voted the best pizza in the world by National Geographic, it's a must-see. And uh, just outside the downtown are acres and acres of peach and apple orchards. Take a look. Alright, so when you visit Crozet, make sure you visit one of the many vineyards, breweries, and distilleries. We're going to check out one now. Kind of going uh, middle of nowhere, I don't know. Okay, we're stopping at the Ragged Branch Distillery. distillery. Uh, we're going to go into the tasting room and then hopefully get a tour of the uh, distillery facility. So, uh, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. So we're here in the tasting room of the Ragged Branch Distillery, and David's going to give us a little information about what I'm tasting. All right, hello everyone. So welcome to Ragged Branch. Um, we're kind of a cool little thing. We're a farm to flask style distillery. Uh, so we're going to grow all the corn, wheat, and rye for our mash bill on our farm here. Um, we're lucky enough to be able to handle everything from start to finish down in our barns at the end of the hill. And uh, we uh, feed the cattle all the leftover mash as well. So it kind of makes for a no waste facility. Uh, we also had a very influential guy in the industry help us get started. His name was Dave Pickerel. Uh, he was the vice president master stiller at Maker's Mark some years ago. And uh, before he uh, eventually retired from the industry, we were able to convince him to come out and uh, help us and be our master distiller for the first couple years. So very lucky to have him be a part of our family. Um, so we've been doing this for about six years. So our bourbon's coming on about four to five years of age. Uh, we do a couple different flavored uh, grain bourbons. We've got a weeded flavor grain, so 15% wheat in our uh, recipe. And then we do a rye flavored uh, bourbon with 15% rye. So um, very, uh, a lot of similarities to makers in our weeded bourbon here. Uh, robust sweet corns, cinnamons, honeys, and caramels. It's 
It's got a nice little bite, but uh, finishes off nice and smooth. Uh, and then you've got our double oak tweeted, which is essentially the same juice as that first one, except what we're doing is we'll take one of those original weeded barrels at about the three to four year mark, we'll transfer it into an extra charred barrel for about another one and a half to two years. So that not only gives it a nice richer color, but enhances those oak and smoke flavors, uh, smooths it out so it doesn't have as much heat, and then brings in a little bit more creme brulee and butter toffee. And then you've got our final uh, bourbon here, which is our uh, signature bourbon. So instead of a little wheat, we do a little rye, so it's a little bit more traditional in recipe. Uh, but a very delicious bourbon, nicely well balanced, uh, smooth, uh, nice little uh, rye spice with some vanillas, cherry almonds, sweet tobacco and oak. And again, we're super excited for this because this just won best bourbon here in 2019 for Virginia. Thanks, David. So I picked the uh, Ragged Branch uh, bourbon, uh, that is double oaked, because of the extreme smoothness and very complex flavors. I'm waiting to open it when some friends come down to visit. Yeah, that was great bourbon. Did you enjoy that? It's very good. It was great. Take a look at this tasting room, too. What a place you could spend uh, the whole afternoon here, probably. Just relax. All right, let's take a walk down to the uh, barrel room and see what it's all about. So this is where they uh, store, I guess, uh, all the whiskey and bourbon. Take a look, you can actually smell the sweetness when you walk in here. There's a sweet smelling um, odor of the, uh, of the liquor. It's really cool. our time in Crozet and our visit to the Ragged Branch Distillery. Until next time, safe travels.